Hey guys, it is me, Avlo, and I am bringing you a video here with my room being this messy. But this video is going to be discussing the new patch. Um, just going to give you my thoughts on the new patch, guys. And um, basically, um, if you just want the truth, if you just want real talk, then you're in the right place. You're not going to get it from anyone else. They don't know the game well enough. Uh, commentators don't know what the game well enough. They're not. They're just going to say, wait and see. The truth is, this patch is probably the worst patch that's ever been released in StarCraft II history. For the game, um, for many different reasons, but in the history of us... The, this patch is literally showing the incompetence of Blizzard. I mean, I want to be positive. I really, really do. I want to be positive. I want to, you know, I want to so badly, but it's impossible. Um, what you're seeing right now with StarCraft 2 is exactly how games like World of Warcraft and Diablo 3 were handled from Blizzard. They do not listen to the community. Um, they don't listen to people that are knowledgeable in the community, and then they make ridiculous changes that either make the game too casual or are just terrible balance-wise and have no, no place in the reality of the game. So this patch is basically a massive failure. Um, once again, you know, let's, let's go over... So they put out this test mod months ago, and they said they wanted feedback... For the changes they were doing i gave feedback other people gave feedback they made no changes for months so it's just the same thing with blizzard as usual um, when it comes to starcraft 2 either at this point i don't know i mean w well we do know because it's 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 been years it this 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 has happened for years it's incompetence at this point and i don't mean blatant incompetent it's incompetence and negligence but I think it might just be ignorance, actually. They, see, the thing is, the balanced designers for StarCraft have no fucking clue what they're doing. I don't know if they play their own game, which is also a problem. And it's very obvious that they don't. Or if they do, they're all playing Zerg or something. And that's a problem, because if you're going to be a balanced designer for what is the number one RTS, or literally, well, the only RTS that's alive still just barely hanging on by a thread of life, you have to know game balance. You have to know what to do. You can't just make random arbitrary changes and do random arbitrary buffs. So why is this patch a failure? Why is it a failure? Because it does nothing that it's supposed to be doing. Cyclone redesign is a failure. It's a worse unit. Mech is actually worse this patch. And I, this is why this patch is supposed to be the patch that helps make mech more viable. And bring mech into the metagame, you know, for, in the name of strategic diversity, a word that Blizzard doesn't seem to understand. But what has happened here is the same thing that's happened the last four years. And I, I'm, I'm tired of bitching about it. And honestly, it's ridiculous. But when you have people that have no idea what they're doing when it comes to game balance... I mean, this is why players like Idra in the past and a lot of other personalities in the scene have basically left the game. They left the game mad because, I mean... I, it, it, it's incompetence, you know, the whole tire iron thing, guys, Idra and the tire iron, well, he was right, they have no idea what they're doing, um, luckily you guys have somebody like me to call this out as it is, because there's very few people like me left in the StarCraft 2 community, I don't even, know, like, the, I, the willpower I've had to actually stay this long with, with the game being this bad and poorly balanced, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's all you guys from my stream that that have kept me going all this time despite, like, my gr almost growing, I guess you could say, depression or... It's not even a burn... It's not even me being burnt out of the game. It's just depression at, like, how the game keeps going downhill and how they don't listen to anyone that knows what they're talking about. They didn't, like... So, this patch, guys, mech, it's worse than last patch. Why? I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist. Some of you guys that don't even have a computer science degree, you don't know anything about game design, you don't know anything. Some of you guys in Bronze League probably know better than David Kim right now, and I'm not even joking. Because 
they literally buffed everything in the game that is anti-mech. So, they said they're going to make mech viable, but they made it worse because they added about 50 new counters to mech. Burrowed infestors. Uh, parasitic bomb, vipers, still OP. Now hydras are ridiculous OP against both mech and bio. You can actually mass hydras against bio now, too. I've actually played games on stream in Zerg against people that go bio. I just mass hydras. You don't even need any other units. Just if you want to get spicy and if you want to get uh, really juicy, you make lurkers and vipers. Hydras and vipers, that's all you need against bio or mech. They're overpowered. And I explained this on stream. When you increase the, the range of a unit by one, the units in the back are now firing. So it's an overall huge DPS increase. This thing needs to be removed, immediately reverted. There's no, there's no excuse for this even being in the game. They already made the same mistake with the queen, increasing the queen range by one, and you, you saw what that's did to Ter what that's done to Terran, where so many openers you can't even open anymore, like Cloak Banshee or Liberator, you can't because the eight range queen. Well, now you have like seven or eight or nine range or whatever the hell range these hydras are. They kill, they beat everything in the game. Um, across all three races I'm pretty sure but um, yeah that's a matter of you cannot wait that needs a hot fix that's that's what I would call needs a hot that that needs a a hot fix a patch immediately to revert it and fix the game because that will that is absolutely gonna kill the game and now I have one better for you not only that not only those buffs they actually rebuffed swarm hosts to be the most can't you guys remember Swarm Host versus Raven games in the past? You could actually win those games, right? You could eventually beat the Swarm Host, or, the, or you'd be whittled down. Well, now you can't even counter them, because the Locusts fly and swoop down on top of your tank line, and the Swarm Hosts are so fast, they can just run away and never get caught. So, basically, if you make, like, 10 to 12 Swarm Hosts, you will do free damage every 30 seconds, no matter what. And... This change alone has made mech go from, mech was like barely playable last patch, to you can't even, if you play somebody that's abusing this, you can't even play the game. You can't, and you know, it's not like Blizzard didn't know this. They knew because myself and other people played like 50 games on the test map. We told them about this. We told them how bad it was. We told them the Raven auto chart change is bad, and the Swarmhost change is bad, and the Infestor change is bad. They do not listen. They do not give a fuck. They have egos out the roof. And so they basically put out the worst bullshit balance patch in the history of the game. This Zerg, or uh, this, sorry, that's Frodian slip there. This patch is not, mech is worse this patch. This isn't even a patch. This isn't even a pa This isn't even a, a, a mech strategic diversity patch. This is just a, a blatant Zerg buff patch. Which leads me to believe there's idiotic people in the community like Katz and other Zerg players that have been consulting with David Kim personally, I think, because I don't know how else these stupid changes... Even Banelings have... Banelings have combat shields now. Uh, just let that sink in for a moment. They gave Banelings combat shields. Oh, and infestors can burrow, cast fungal from underneath the ground. This patch is a blatant Zerg buff patch. This is a stu This patch doesn't make any sense. Me mech is worse, not playable. Zerg is ridiculous. They already had eight range queens that, that killed the game last patch. But now they have buff banelings. They have super banelings, super hydras, super infestors, super swarm hosts. The list goes on. Oh, but they nerfed Ultra Armor by minus one. whoop de doo But they killed the game. Um, I foresee and I predict this the next WCS, if, if StarCraft even survives that long with this patch, because this patch is actually going to be the end of... This is the end of the game. The game will die after this patch if it's not fixed relatively soon. And we all know Blizzard takes months to fix basic ish. They haven't fixed three Rack Sweeper. They haven't fixed Invincible Nidus Worm. They haven't fixed Warp Prisms. They haven't fixed Pylon Cannon on the ramp. All of these things, they ignore it. They don't give a shit. So, you know, just like they censored me and banned me from the forums, well, guess what? They truly, you know, 
They didn't listen to any feedback on the test map that anybody gave. They they did what they wanted to do, and they put in terrible changes to the game that are just blatant Zerg buffs. They're just all Zerg buffs across the board. Zerg already had the most diverse strategies in the game. They had crazy strats in the game. But now, the, the, the game in its current state is not playable if you play Terran or Protoss. It's actually so fucking bad. It's worse... I would say it's even worse than Broodlord and Fester because Broodlord and Fester was just one strategy. Now you have like 10 or 15 different overpowered strategies from Zerg that just are ridiculous. And, you know, and Queen's on top of that. I'm really disillusioned with the state of the game. You guys can probably tell when I stream. Uh, I. It's tilting me. It's, it's making me angry. It's not even healthy to be this angry all the time when I'm playing the game that, you know made me a streamer basically and has allowed me to have my income as a streamer but um there are just so many things wrong with this patch and you know i feel like i made this i say this every time when i make these videos i feel like i've made this video 50 times already over the course of the last four or five years, it doesn't get through to anybody. It doesn't get through to Blizzard. And it's to the point where they've basically just systematically killed the game over time. Because, you know, like I said, they they do not take <sighs> feedback. It, you know, months ago, uh, with the help of nice username, I came up with that Thor upgrade to make that that proved mech was actually viable. You could counter air with that hyper ballistic missile upgrade. Blizzard refuses to, to listen, so we still have mass carriers and stuff in the game. You, I mean, it is what it is, guys. Like, next couple months, you know, StarCraft had a good run. I expect the next few tournaments to pretty much be all ZVZ. Uh, pretty much everything will be ZVZ. Um, and the, the other issue here is... Um, What's it called? Not only that, I'm, I'm even losing track. There, there's so many bad things in this patch. There, there's just, there's too many things to list that are, that are going through my head right now. Of, But anyways, this is probably the worst patch in SC2 history. Um, and it's a blatant, blatant, just buff Zerg patch for no reason. They didn't need any buffs. If anything, Zerg needed nerfs uh, to, to some things. So yeah, I mean the next next couple months, I don't know. I I hope the game will survive a patch this fucking bad. But you know, pe I think people in the last couple of years have already lost patience with Blizzard. Um, and you know, if <sighs> the game guys, you guys know my Zerg is actually pretty damn good. But do I really want to do a full race switch to Zerg? just because of these patches that made the game ridiculous to play? Probably not. Um, I would probably rather invest my time into Heroes of the Storm and League streaming if it ever came, if it comes, if they don't fix this patch within the next like week or so. <sighs> so yeah. Anyways, that's this video. Um, spread it around, it's real talk. Once again, you're not gonna get this anywhere else. You're just gonna get Caster saying, Hey guys, you need to wait and see and let the meta settle. Yeah, you really need to wait like another five months to let Swarmhost be this friggin' abusive and Hydra's this. Yeah, you really gotta wait and see the next couple months. Yeah, right. You you got you've got to be kidding me. Some some of these casters that are saying this stupid nonsense about yeah guys the new patch is out you gotta just let the meta settle and and wait. Some of these casters don't even fucking play StarCraft anymore, so they can honestly go fuck themselves. They have no idea what they're talking about. No idea what they're talking about uh, when it comes to StarCraft 2. They, they are fucking clueless. So, I am giving it to you real, guys. Thank you for watching. You know, I'm going to keep streaming. <sighs> I'm going to keep streaming. But once again, um, this is the worst patch ever in StarCraft 2 history. Um, to the point that I feel like... You know, I love this game so much. But it's just been so mishandled. I feel like... 
like, I'm on the fence because it's just like, I can get 1,000 to 1.5k viewers for StarCraft, but I feel like if, if like, the last year, year and a half, I had built up a League audience, or if I would built up a Heroes of the Storm audience, I could have probably been getting that same number with, with games that are actually patched properly and kept alive in terms of, like, just patches and overall strategic diversity and, um, I mean, this is Blizzard's fault. It's, it's not it's not my fault, guys. You know, I didn't kill the game. You didn't kill the game. There's no pro gamer out there that killed the game. This is entirely on Blizzard's fault. It's entirely Blizzard's fault. Um, as I said before, a lot of people... I mean, look at all the mech... Play you, know, you know the game is screwed when you have dedicated players like Goody, HTO Mario, Strelik. All those players have basically quit playing the game. And they were mech terrans. They, you, like, you notice they basically all quit the game when they realized that nothing was going to change and mech was just going to remain garbage for the next couple of years. To the point now this patch makes mech... Mech is in the worst state that it's ever been in the history of SC2. I can say that definitively on this patch. From, from me off-racing as Zerg and playing as Terran playing mech, this is the worst patch in the history of SC2 for mech and for overall just generally giving Zerg 50 buffs to units that didn't need buffs. So, I hope Blizzard will revert all of these Zerg buffs. They're all unnecessary. Let mech be, be viable and see what happens. Vipers alone can counter mech, but yeah. You know, we'll see. Anyways, peace out, guys. I'll be back on stream tomorrow. Uh, I hope, you know, I hope they will revert a lot of these changes. I hope they'll work on the Cyclone redesign. hope they'll work on Protoss design. I hope they'll revert a lot of the just arbitrary Zerg buffs because I see a lot of people A lot of people are gonna quit the game after this patch. That's just the real talk, you know I, I hope not. I really hope that everybody keeps playing StarCraft. Mm. I want to keep playing StarCraft But I'm slowly but surely, you know, it's like needles need needles coming at you coming at you guys and coming at me slowly where the game the state of the game is so bad that it's almost like they're trying to drive players away through their incompetent balance patching. So I hope they'll fix that and address it. Peace out. Good night, everybody.